welcome back to the homestead welcome back for another fired up friday and i'm fired up today about it we're gonna do everybody's favorite today chicken tacos but on fired up friday we don't just do your average chicken tacos come on that's not how we roll on this homestead baby we're gonna do an apple smoked apple infused chicken taco with a organic cilantro lime drizzle for it Woo! that's gonna be fired up so let's go on and get into it and go ahead and get started first thing we got to do is trim up our chicken a little bit and infuse it with some of this organic apple juice right here that's the first step let's get going come on with it let's get it going Woo! now that's a big old organic chicken right there yeah let's go ahead and get these chickens trimmed up you know, on last Fired Up Friday, I couldn't find a sharp knife to save my life. So I went ahead up to Bass Pro Shop and went ahead and got me an old Butcher Max, cutting edge Butcher Max set. And I tell you what, these suckers right here will cut it up. Now, it's so much better, so much better. Let's go on and get this thing trimmed up. Now what the apple juice is going to do, everybody knows whenever you're trying to smoke chicken breast, they have a tendency to dry out. It's a hard thing to accomplish. They sure do like to get dry and get dry in a hurry. You got to keep your eye on it. But this apple juice right here by being injected inside of it will help retain the moisture inside, keeping your chicken from drying out. Now typically what I do is I like to smoke the chicken for about 20 minutes on about 150 to 200 degrees on the big green egg with, with the apple wood in there. Now a lot of people now don't like to use apple wood on chicken. They think it just takes over the taste of it. And you got to be careful with it, I'm not going to lie. But if you get it right, it sure does enhance the flavor. And whenever you have the apple juice injected inside of it, I'll tell you what, it it is some good stuff. It, it's it's different tasting chicken than you ever had. I, I mean, it's it's something special. You know, and I like to uh, do things that other people are scared to do. Come on. I, I mean, part of cooking is, is just, you know, trying things out. Ooh, we got apple juice going everywhere, babe. Come on. Oh yeah, this is going to be good right here. This is going to be good. Get the chicken breast on the grill and get it smoking while we prepare the rest of the meal. Alright guys, we got the chicken on the grill, so let's go ahead and start prepping what we're going to put inside the tacos. We're going to go with avocados, tomatoes, onions, and spinach. Now you don't have to use spinach, you can use whatever you like. You can use green leaf lettuce, uh, cabbage, really whatever you like. I particularly like spinach, so that's typically what I end up using. But really you could use whatever you like. And while we're cutting up all this to go inside the tacos, I'd like to talk to y'all about what's been going on this week. So our Friday, Fired Up Friday video last week got over 200 views. I think we're sitting at about 210 right now. That is by far the most views I've gotten on a video yet. And it did that in about three and a half days. And I couldn't be more excited about it. I guess people sure do like that stuff venison. Come on. I know I do. I know I do. But let's see if we can beat it this week and let's see if we can get to 300. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and make sure you share this video with all of your friends. It sure does do a lot for this channel. And I'm trying to grow it. And I'm really glad that y'all come and join me every Friday to cook and every Tuesday to talk about things. And we sure do got some big projects coming up on here soon. I just got all the fencing and gates that I need to start the infrastructure for the goats is coming here real soon. I'm sure I'm excited about getting them on the homestead and we'll have chickens coming shortly after. I tell you what, last week I didn't have a sharp knife to save my life. So yeah, I, I really do appreciate all the new subscribers and also all the likes and all the shares. And let's go ahead and put some comments down there. I don't think none of my videos has got too many comments. I think the most is about four comments. Let's start with this one. Tell me what type of tacos you like. When do you like eating tacos? 
I mean, me personally, I like eating tacos all the time. A lot of people do Taco Tuesday and Taco Thursday. I just do tacos. It don't really matter what day it is. I'm all about a good taco. And on this channel, we'll end up making all kinds of different types of tacos. I, I make different kinds of seafood tacos. I make shrimp tacos. I make deer tacos. I make all kinds of tacos. So we'll, we'll get into some of those recipes later. I really hope y'all enjoy this one, though. This is definitely uh, one of my favorites. Boy, I tell you what, this knife sure does cut like butter. I enjoy it. <laughs> I enjoy having a knife that cuts again. Ooh, that is so much nicer. Today is also a very special day. My nephew's birthday. He's coming out today for Fired Up Friday. He don't know it yet. He just turned 13 years old. Yep, finally hit the teenage years. Old big guy. Next thing you know, he'll be grown and trying to move on out. It happens fast, boy. It happens fast. Make sure that you... Uh, Spend time with your kids. Tell them that you love them. Because I tell you what, they grow up, sure do grow up way too fast. My daughter has uh, got two babies already. Got two granddaughters. And I tell you what, she's growing up fast. She is growing up fast. My son just turned 18 last week. Come on. I am officially old. Mm -hmm. Officially old. Very nice. Very nice. Oh yeah, I like to chop the old spinach up. It makes for a better bite on the taco. These are going to be good. I can't wait to see everybody. I sure do enjoy the kids coming over every week. Can't wait for my daughter to join us one time. Well, we just about got all this cut up, guys. It's been a busy week for sure. Busy week. Yep, looking forward to all the projects we got coming up. My son turned 18 last week. He's my youngest. So I guess that officially makes me old. Whew. I ain't ready to get old. But yep, we had a real good birthday party last weekend for him. He sure did have a good time. I was able to uh, give him his hunting rifles now that he's a grown man. He sure was excited about that. Coming of age thing, coming of age thing. He was happy. He sure was happy. All right, now we got the onions, the tomatoes, and the spinach cut up. Let's go ahead and start working on this avocado. Who don't like avocado? Put it in the comments. Me, personally, I sure do love me some good avocado. I didn't like it for a long time, but your taste buds change, I guess. Because I sure do like it now. One of my favorites. I eat avocado with everything. Work that seed out. Well, there you go. Work it. Work it. Avocados from Mexico. Alright guys, let's check on that chicken, see how she's looking. We're smoking it right now at about 150. It's only been about 10 minutes. We're gonna uh, keep letting it go and uh, try to try to get about 10, 15 more minutes on that smoke. And then after that, we'll kick it on up and go on and get that chicken cooking. All right, guys, now that we got the vegetables cut up to go inside the tacos, let's go ahead and start preparing that organic yogurt cilantro lime drizzle that we're gonna put on top of the tacos. Very easy recipe. All it is is lime, cilantro, and organic yogurt with a little bit of salt. That's really it. Be careful on the amount of cilantro that you put in there because, you know, cilantro's got a real heavy taste. So let's go ahead and get in it. I'm just using this old stony filled organic Greek yogurt here. You can use whatever type you like or homemade if you got it. Mix it up a little bit. We're going to use about two cups. You can make it with more if you want, but we don't have that many people coming tonight. So we're going to do about two cups of the organic yogurt. There you go. That's plenty. And with two cups of yogurt, we're just going to do a half of a lime. Squeeze it in there. Get all the juices in there. If you got a food processor, you can use your food processor. I don't have one of those things. No such critter here. Come on. We do it old school. And with about two cu cups of uh, the organic yogurt, 
I'd say I'd use about a third of a cup of uh, cilantro. Like I said, cilantro is uh, very, very strong. I like to cut it up as fine as possible. That's really up to you. It's your preference. You get a big old piece of cilantro, though, you'll know it. Maybe one day I'll get me there one of them food processors. Uh, but around here, I am the food processor. Come on, literally. I tell you what, there's nothing like nice, fresh-smelling or cilantro when you're cutting it up. It sure does have its own little nice flavor to it. Probably should have used a different knife for this, but we'll make it do what it do, boo-boo. We'll make it do what it do. Come on. Come on. That's the great thing about cooking, you know. Everybody stresses about cooking and everybody's worried, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Cooking is about expression, about trying it out. You just can't be scared of it. you got to try it. You know, I just make up my own recipes most of the time and see what works. I've had a lot of failures, but I've had a lot of really good stuff. A little background on me. I used to actually own a sports bar. If you watched my introduction video, you probably know that. And uh, one of the main reasons why I opened up that sports bar is I love to cook. Now, after doing it for a living in a sports bar, <laughs> I started to not like cooking no more. But uh, now that i am got that shut down and I'm back to just cooking it here at the house, I love it. I, I love it. I mean, I love to cook. Come on. Oh, yeah. Get her cut up. Get that knife work going. Be careful, don't 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 cover I cut off your digits. One of my buddy put on Facebook today, he done cut off the tip. Done cut off the tip of his finger. I put on there that boy's always in the ER. I put on there that boy needs to get one of them reward cards for the ER. Now he's there about once a month it seems like. Real good guy, real good guy. I mentored him there for a while and uh, he's turned out to be a real good hard working guy. But boy he sure is clumsy and sure does hurt himself a lot, I tell you what. But he's always been that way. Always been that way. There you go, guys. Just dice it up. Put it in there. Boom. And mix it up. Oh, this is going to be so good. So good. Let me try it. Mm. Very good. I think I want to put a little more lime in it. A little more lime. Not quite the whole thing. Just a little bit more. Just to give, just to give it a little bit more of that citrus flavor. That sure is going to be good, guys. That sure is going to be good. Now, all we got to do is wait on the chicken and cook up some tortillas. And we're in there like swimwear, baby. Come on. Woo! Come on. Oh, not quite. Not quite. A taco ain't a taco without some good cheese now. Come on. And I'm going to try a new cheese tonight. It's habanero naturally aged cheddar cheese. Now, I like a little spice, so I figured we'd try some of this habanero cheddar. And we're also going to use uh, my new cheese grinder I got right here. I've never even used it. We're going to see how she works today. Now, that's some good looking cheese right there. Now, this, jump right, this cheese right here, now it just crumbles. Got some of that crumble cheese. Came with this little fancy little thing right here. I ain't used to nothing like this, but, but we're going to go with it. Ooh, now this is messy. We making a mess now. I guess it's more of a crumble cheese, huh? But we are making a mess now. We are making a mess now. <laughs> you ain't making a mess, you ain't cooking. Come on. Now, if the kids don't end up liking this uh, habanero cheddar, I do have some uh, four blend Mexican cheese in there for them if they like. You gotta have a variety when you got a wide variety of kids coming over because everybody likes something different. Well, now as we're waiting on is the chicken, guys.
all right guys we got them off the grill they looking good looking good let's go ahead and get everything plated up and then we'll give her a try come on All right, guys, it done got dark on us. Let's give this thing a try. Mm. Come on with the come on. That's a whole lot of good right there, baby. Juicy, juicy, juicy. Mm. Good stuff. What's going on, guys? It's the next morning. The next morning i didn't get a chance to close the fired up friday video out last night so i wanted to take some time this morning and tell y'all guys that i really appreciate y'all stopping by for fired up friday and those apple smoked apple infused tacos sure were good boy we really enjoyed it as you can see by me tasting it last night it already got dark on us and the lighting was horrible so i decided just to wait until this morning to close this one out but i really do appreciate every one of y'all for subscribing and liking my videos Last week's Fired Up Friday hit 210. That is by far the most that I've had so far. And let's try to go ahead and smash that this week. And let's try to get three, 400 views this week and some more subscribers. It sure does help the channel out whenever you hit that like button and subscribe and share on your social media. So until we see each other again, come on, let's go homesteading.